post-holiday thrift stash. Starts in two seconds. I just need to spritz my perfume and then we'll go. I got this. My grandma got me this new perfume. I'm so excited. It is by the brand Sniff and it's in the Tarte Deco scent. The black cherry one. My friend Maddie wore this one night and I literally like freaked out. She smelled so good. I was literally like, what is that? It's very sweet. It does smell like black cherries. We were in the car and we were going out and she threw it on and I was like, you're the it girl. Like I was literally like, I need that scent. Like I need to smell like that. So it's not really encapsulated in my outfit right now, but let me tell you, it smells just like captivating and delicious and juicy and gorgeous. And I just needed it and I love it. And they sell it at a very good price point. And the one that my grandma got, I don't know if it was some deal or something, but it came with like a little tester tube, like rollerball situation. I can carry it in my purse too, if I don't want to bring like that full size with me. So that's very exciting. So a little shout out to one of my new favorite fragrances I'm so excited about. I wear the Margiela Jazz Club all the time and it's fun to have something new. But okay, let's go. Hi guys. I miss driving. Hi dude. I really did. Today, my brother and my stepdad and I went to get bagels and I got iced tea instead of getting like an iced coffee. Sometimes an iced tea is like, it's so good. And it, all I'm talking about, this is like the most basic Lipton. Like they just brewed this with like Lipton black tea. I could do this shit at home with lemon. Cause it's so good. Wow, girl who just discovered iced tea. No, I love iced tea. I've always loved iced tea. I just forget about it. And then you have it with like a bagel or like a meal and you're like, love. So here we are. Today we are going to our Savers Classic. And if we are able, we will go to more. I really want like cozy layering pieces. Looking for cozy pieces. Good basic. We hit the sweaters. Look at this limited sweater. What's going on? The thing is, is that I actually like the shape of it. The fur, leather, and black rose. I literally can't tell if I love it or if I hate it. This Talbot's number. I really wanted some sweaters like off the neckline, shoulder vibe. That could be cute. Never go through the sweaters this in depth. But I'm having a ball. I'm glad I'm doing it. Old Old Navy used to do the damn thing. If only I could finish something, run straight through to the end, close a chapter dignified. at six six and a half for charlotte for the music video pray we find something that was a silly trip but i feel like we got some good basics didn't end up going with any of the jackets i found like so many that i liked didn't love enough i found some good sweaters and some pants 
found a dream pair of pants, but then there were holes in it. There were holes in so many things. Hopefully we'll go to at least one of our fave like curated thrifts, like High Energy or Vivant or something like that. I'll bring you along if we do. And then I'll obviously show you what I got. Stuff's back there. Cute stuff. I was there for a while though, because I was digging. I went through almost like every rack. So we were thorough, babe, let me tell you that. Good morning, everybody. I'm with Karen. Good morning. We're going to, okay, well we attempted to go to, there are like three new thrift stores <laughs> my mom told us about, it said in their bio, whatever, Saturday, 11 to seven, we're like, per, we headed there and then we checked, we had to stock them and they like put on their story and saved it as a highlight that they were like closed this week in between Christmas and New Year's. So we wanted to go to some new shops, but now those are all closed. What were they called, Kieran? Found. Oh, Found Boston? Yeah, or something like that. But now we're at Vivant to, to get a little shopping in for you guys. Twist my arm. flavor literally tastes like a mint chocolate chip milkshake Mary Mary Lou Phoebe's 21 everybody's happy birthday Phoebe okay Slayer kicking you out Evo boy boy bye 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 Hi guys, um, I'm going to do a little haul of what I got. So I did not get anything at Vivant Vintage today, which is where Kieran and I went, but he did. He got a leather jacket. I don't have any footage of it, but it was great. It was $65, pretty good. I did indeed wear Kieran's Christmas gift to me, which is a vintage Burberry trench, which I've been dying for. He found it off the real real. This like inner lining you can zip off. It's just like for extra warmth, but you can zip it off and then the whole thing is like the classic Burberry plaid moment, but she's very special and I wore her today for the first time. Before I show you what I got, this is one of the things. I don't know why I'm obsessed with like little sweatshirts like this, but you guys know I mentioned for like something I want more of are tops with hoods because I love that vibe. I love it in a more like elevated way. Like this is obviously more like comfortable, cozy, but you can elevate this easy peasy. This sweatshirty top is from Los Angeles Apparel. I got it for Christmas. It's great for layering. It's a great base layer. It's just so cozy. The sleeves are pretty long. They don't have thumb holes, which is kind of a bum, but that's okay. So my mother, dearest, got me this for Christmas. I'm not gonna do it what I got for Christmas just because no matter the amount of disclaimers I could do about like, I'm not trying to brag. I don't know, something feels weird about it. So gradually I'll obviously, if I'm styling things or wear things, I'll point out got it for Christmas, but like, I don't need to be doing that, I don't think. I did get these glasses. I don't know why I'm starting with these, but I just am. Um, I can't tell. I don't really have, like you guys know my go-to are those black York glasses that I splurged on at the Reformation and Ludlow. They like carry the vintage. So I got those there. When my outfit doesn't go with black, I'm like kind of want a similar frame that's brown. They're tortoise. I like how they kind of like goggle, hug your eye. They're definitely different shapes, but like kind of like a brown version of these guys. These are the ones that I wear like literally all the time. And then these are the new brown ones. They're definitely more cat eye, but I definitely like them. And we don't have a brand on them. Okay, let me show you my, my little haul. I didn't get much. I was looking a lot for the music video that I'm styling like right when I get back to the city. It's gonna be like immediate go, 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 fitting, style out, day of shoot. So checked the thrift store for that, just any other extra stuff, but didn't find much for that, but that's totally fine. Um, I guess because it's right there, I'll start with that. It is damp, like really wet. I didn't want to dry it because it is like a knit hoodie, but it's just this like cherry red with a hood. I feel like it's gonna be great for layering. Here it is. I'm sure when it's dry, it'll be like a little bit tighter. Right now it's just like hanging and sagging on the rack. I like how the sleeves are ribbed and there's this kind of like difference in detail. It'll be great to throw under like statement jackets like this under a fur would be really fun. 
I'm going to keep that hung there because I don't really have much of the rack space. I'm trying to think of what makes sense for me to try on now. I got this L.L. Bean medium, really baby pink, like dress shirt. I get like so much inspo from other people and how they style dress shirts. And I always like forget that it can be like such a vibe and they're so versatile like especially with layering and then the fall and winter and stuff looks great because i have my hooded thing on but just a baby pink it doesn't look that pink right now but i think it'll be very cute laid under coats or layered under like certain sweaters just to have like the pink collar peek out and i feel like the majority of the dress shirts that i have are like blues and more like corporate masculine leaning so i feel like the pink is kind of nice um i could also maybe throw this on over what i have this sweater I'm so excited for. I think I showed it to you guys when I was thrifting, but I love the belt, like leather detail on this sweater. It feels very like equestrian to me. I don't really know why, but the brand is Talbots. Definitely a bit more of like an orangey red compared to like a cherry blue toned red, if that makes sense. Kind of has this like layered cowl neck moment. Let me try it on. I air dried this as well. So it definitely needs like a steam to get its shape back. I feel like it would be so cute over like a chocolate brown. I have like brown leather boot cut pant. It would be ideal over like a little mini skirt stocking moment. I think that'd be really, really cute. I really like the detail of it. It reminds me of my bag. My bag is like stuffed to the brim because I'm bringing tops for my friend to wear on New Year's on a date. Oh! Okay, why'd I put it on that shoulder? Like this is a cute vibe. I was so bummed because I found this like really long cardigan that had like the exact same like brass detailing on it. And I was like, oh my God, that with this bag. But then also you can see in this clip, like they weren't the right brown, but I thought it slayed. But then I tried on the cardigan and I was like, immediately no. I think this with the skirt would be ridiculously cute. Really sweet, sweet and cozy. Sweet and cozy. Oh my God, why is my bag so heavy? But yeah, we love this sweater. Loving her for real. The rest are pretty much bottoms. Okay, wait, this is a dress. Guys, I'm excited for this. Um, it's from the brand MSK or M Misk. I don't, I don't really know the intended pronunciation for this bad boy. Let me know if I should cut these little um, shoulder pads out. I feel like I might just so it's like all just slinky, like sheer, full sheer, like midi navy and green polka dot dress. Gives very Reformation vibes, but I honestly wear this with like undies and like nothing else. Like, oh, with a little kitten heel. I want to wear it for like a little date night to a bar in Copenhagen, but I'll be freezing if I wear nothing under it. So we got to figure out like a styling vibe for this. And I think I might cut these out because also like, how's that going to look when it's sheer? Do you know what I mean? Kind of bizarre. Let's try it on. Are we thinking she's really sweet? Well, button here, if you can see that. So then this like stays, this stays closed. So you can either do like a deeper V or not. I'm actually begging you to not look at the condition of my bedroom right now. It's me like right at my knees. It's really quite cute. This is like my one thing though. You see the like little shoulder pad. I think I might have to cut them out. Cause yeah, what do we do about this? Like maybe there was a lining in this dress, but somebody had cut it out. It's not too sheer either. Like. I think I like it. Okay, new new skirt alert. Um, I was mainly intrigued by these big belt loops because I think it'd be fun to layer with an, like a big belt. Be cute over pants too. This is the plaid on her. I don't know, we're gonna have to play around with the styling on this baddie, um, but I thought the shape was really fun. Um, and then the pants that I'm wearing actually now, I got there. They just have like this little, have this little label on them. Basically, they're like flared yoga pants, but they're not really yoga material. I don't even know how to describe this material, but you feel the vibes? Similar material to my capris that I got from Isabella Verona's website, these capris, which I love dearly. They're very similar to those. Here they are. Very basic, but comfy. Also, this needs to be cleaned so goddamn bad. And yes, I'm watching Brooke and Connor highlights of the past year. Thank you so much. BNC make a pee. I'm a fan. I'm a fucking fan. Oh my God. I don't want to forget the sweater. Also air drying. I showed you guys this when we were shopping, but it's this crazy rose flower black sweater that like singes at the bottom and then kind of like flares out. Really hilly right now. So I need to do some work on that. I want to style it very like Sandy Liang because the flowers remind me of her signature flower motif and I love it. So I think that'd be really fun to style. And then I'm scared to try these on. I just, I fear they're gonna look bad, but we're gonna try them. These capris, I can't tell if they're capri 
pants or if they're like cropped i was very intrigued by them and i feel like they could be really cute so let's try them on and pray oh good heavens i do not think i like the fit of these one bit the thrift store, it's a bit of a gamble because they don't have dressing rooms there any longer since the pandemic. They didn't bring them back, which is totally fine. But sometimes it's a bit of a gamble and it does not turn out the way you want. Um, It's given frumpa dumpa. Like with the right shoe, like that's obviously better, but they're a weird length as well. I don't know. Oh, they're fucking itchy too. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about these. God damn it. That is indeed it for my haul portion of this video. I'm thinking I'll bring thinking I'll bring the camera tomorrow night and do a little do a little New Year's Eve coverage. For New Year's Eve, we're doing like a dinner party at my friend Marley's house, and I'm so incredibly excited. We were texting about it right now about our menu. I'm gonna make a cocktail. I'm about to go leave actually right now to get the supplies, but I'm making corn star martinis, which is my favorite drink. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Kidding. Here's a picture of my previous work. Thank you. It's a passion fruit martini and they're like traditionally served with like a little glass of prosecco on the side Which like twists my arm literally going to be a best with my girls I can't wait always been on like my little mood board on my Pinterest when people at parties do a little bit of a paper tablecloth And then you can like draw on it and all of that jazz. So we're going to do that We're going to do that. I'm in charge of that and bringing all the coloring supplies, but I think it'd be cute to write a little resolution that's gonna be my job tomorrow. We're gonna go into boss for that tomorrow night. And I'm very excited. And I think we're doing, the vibes are either like, okay, we dress up or we do like a PJ vibe, but like still do hair and makeup. So we're feeling perfect and like glam, you know? So I do indeed have my PJ set that I wore on Christmas that my mom got me or Mrs. Claus got me. I also do have a top that I wanna wear. So like maybe I'll wear it, get a pick and then I'll change it to PJs. And I'm kind of feeling like that's the vibe that we're gonna do. So I have to say, but I will see you tomorrow. Um, for a little New Year's Eve coverage, but I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry this week's video is a little boring. I haven't had much to show you guys, to be completely honest. This is like the first time I put on makeup like all week. So yeah, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Excited and love you. See you then. And you got Schmoops at work. That's really beautiful. You're really good at it. I'm really good at it. No, I really Stuff want to date. Either, I'm in the studio. No. She's a good girl. This is really good. I like picture people how their rooms look like. Oh, uh, me. I was just thinking about what is Because, like, Linda, yeah, we, we were very, like, lime green and turquoise coated at one point. But I feel like I'm, like, orange now. I do picture you as your phone case as well. Like, a safe green and your bedding. I do picture that as well. Whoa. Do you like these? Are you obsessed with these? Or? It looks nice. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, you're in your My vlog is here. It's your up. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm just casually. Ew. Yeah. It's because people don't know how to. That's my mediocre name. What? Is that the app? Oh, it's better than the entree. Is that a lot of it? to get on the train to head back. It is Monday. I'm going to finish editing this and post it on the train home today and then 
next week's video will probably kick off tomorrow. I'll try to vlog as much as I can tomorrow. Tuesday, tomorrow I'm gonna be pulling and then all day Wednesday I'm gonna be like organizing. We're gonna do the style out. I'll vlog as much as I can with that. And then the shoot is on Saturday. The next week's video is gonna be all about that, which is exciting because I feel like I've been talking about it, but like haven't been able to actually tell you really anything about it. Anyways. I want to wish you all a happy, happy new year and thank you for the past year and for all the support and for tuning into my videos. It literally means the world to me. I could cry. Um, I truly, truly, truly adore all of you guys. And I've been lucky enough to meet a few of you like throughout the year and it's just like, it made my absolute life. It's so, 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 so special. Sending you all my love, hugs and kisses to you and your family and your loved ones. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much again for watching. And I adore you and I'm wishing you all the best in the new year. It's going to be a good one. We'll be good. It'll be good. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye.